Have you ever wondered about the state of human relationships in our world today? Are we moving forward or are we stuck in a cycle of misunderstanding and conflict? Today, we'll delve into a tale that might just shed some light on these questions. Once upon a time, in a world not so different from ours, the inhabitants lived in constant discord. Their leaders, instead of resolving their differences through dialogue, resorted to petty conflicts, much like children squabbling over toys. The people too lived in isolation, oblivious to the fact that they were part of a larger community, a global family. But then came a time of reckoning. The planet was plagued by numerous challenges, forcing the people to realize the importance of unity and understanding. They began to see that there was only one true path, one set of laws that could guide them towards a better future. These were the laws of the Creator, of justice and understanding, rooted in love and light. As they grew in wisdom, they started to comprehend the essence of love and light more profoundly. They saw that all things were created in love, peace and harmony. They understood that when they lived in accordance with these principles, they could connect with their true selves, their divine nature. Over time, they unlearned the false teachings that had led them to believe they were sinners from birth. They began to understand that they were divine creations of the Creator, born out of love. They realized that the so-called sin was not inherent, but a result of their own negative thinking that had clouded their divine self. Gradually, they awakened to this new understanding, this new way of thinking. They started to see themselves and each other as divine beings, parts of the Creator. They learned to love and understand one another, paving the way for a brighter future. However, not everyone was able to accept this new way of life. Many clung to their old ways, unwilling to embrace love and understanding. Their days were filled with bitterness and sorrow, unable to see the beauty of life through the lens of love. Yet, the enlightened ones knew this path of love and understanding was the only way to achieve true happiness. They knew that this was the natural order of life given by the Creator. They knew that all would eventually return to this path, for it was their ultimate goal. In this world, devoid of greed, suffering, misery and hate, they reaped the fruits of their actions. Their existence was a testament to the universal law. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. They sowed love, peace and harmony and reaped the same. This tale, dear listeners, is a mirror of our own world. It's a reminder that we too can sow seeds of love, peace and harmony and reap a world that reflects these values. It's a call to action, to awaken to our divine nature of love. It's time to sow a new way of thinking, to reap a new way of living. It's time to embrace love and understanding, for that is the way of and to the Creator.